Hello my dear learners, how are you all? I hope you all are safe and fine at your places. So students, today we are going to learn a new topic. So, I welcome your physical education teacher in today's session. Welcome to this session in the physical education class. Welcome to physical education. This is your unit number 8. And we are dealing with fundamentals of anatomy and physiology. Fundamentals of physiology. We had already studied about so many things like what is anatomy, what is physiology and so many things. So whenever we talk about anatomy, it means the body structures. Whenever we talk about the physiology, it means the functioning of the internal organs too. Like the functioning of the heart, like the functioning of the various organ system. Our body is made up of various organ systems, right? So today in this session, we will be able to understand what are the skeletal system, okay? What are the bones? Exactly, we will be able to understand what are the various things that we needed to focus upon. As you all know, our body is made up of a lot of systems, right dear students? And now we need to think, what are the systems? The systems like digestive system, like digestive system the next thing we are going to talk is circulatory system circulatory system if you further talk the next system is respiration system respiratory system respiratory system so, if we talk about digestive system, our body having the stomach, the digestion of the food, etc. If we talk about the circulatory system, the circulatory system is made up of the heart, the pumping of the blood, etc. Respiratory system means we are talking about the internal organs, that is the lungs. The skeletal system, skeletal system. When we talk about skeletal system, it means we are talking about the structure of the body that is a bone, that is a rib cage. Okay, dear students. So I hope you all understood this topic that I would like to give us over here. Right? So uh, basically we need to focus upon what exactly the things we need to keep in our mind before we do anything. Okay? So let's suppose uh, if I'm standing here, right? Okay, so we need to be focused, we need to be, you know, active, we need to be alert as well, right? So, whenever we do any work, it is, it is very important for us to be active, to be alert always. Not for a day, we should be alert and active always when the learning process is going on, okay? Uh, because see, when the learning process is very nice, then there will be not at all a problem regarding the studies okay so students as we know that uh, we have we have to know about so many things like uh, if we talk about this physiology this anatomy okay so basically about different systems if we talk about right so when we talk about various organ systems or if we talk about various bones like so if we talk about this digestive system, circulatory system, respiratory system, skeletal system, right? We have more system, excretory system, excretory system, right? We have hormonal system, which secretes the hormones, right? We have glandular system that is the gland.
Thank you, Mr. Sir. Granular system. So this is about what? This is about the various systems of the body. And this is your part two of this chapter. This is what? This is your part two of physiology and anatomy. Students, today I have a special chief guest with us and I would like to meet you. So students meet our special person with us, Mr. Boni. So I want to try to say hi to Mr. Boni. Do you know him, Mr. Boni? Okay, students. So welcome and I hope you like it, Mr. Boni with us. And today we are going to deal with the all about the anatomy and physiology. So I want you guys to welcome Mr. Boni and let's make this part of learning, of assessing to things so that we can understand things properly, right? So as you can see in front of us, we can see a skeletal system. What we are seeing here only, we are thinking about this skeleton system. No? Okay, students. So my dear students, let's understand the exact skeleton system. How it is? What are the components? What are the bones? Here we have. As you can see, this is the skeleton system we can see. Right dear students? If we talk about the skeleton system, we'll get to know so many things about it. Basically, this skeleton system, right? This whole skeleton system is a combination of various bones, right? It is the combination of various bones. Like, you know, students, the bones like this rib cage, okay, students? So, there are a lot of things to understand here, and these things are like if we talk about now this skull region, this is the buccal cavity, you can see, okay? These are the rib cage. If we turn it, okay, if I'm gonna turn it, you can see the backbone. This is the tailbone. Okay? You can see the hand, the limbs, you can see the elbow joint, you can see students. This is the elbow joint, right? In the same way, I can show you this is the knee joint. Okay? And these are the flanges, right? Black. Okay, let me just put it down again. So, it will be a very interactive session and we will be able to understand so many things about Mr. Boni. So, I hope you will feel very nice when you meet Mr. Boni. Okay, so let me just tell you a lot of things about Mr. Boni. Okay, so who is Mr. Boni? <laughs> okay, so students, Mr. Boni is none of uh, very, uh, you know, it's among us and it is always in our body. So, if you talk about Mr. Boni, so Mr. Boni is made up of a lot of bones. So right now I am teaching the skeleton system, right? This is skeleton system if we talk in detail. So the skeleton system is a combination of all bones, right? So all bones together form what? The all bones together form the structure which supports us. Let's say if we talk about the rib cage, which protect our lungs. This buccal cavity, right? For training, for tits and all, nose reason, the head reason, the skull reason, right? If we talk about the number of bones in our body, so we have 206 bones in total, right? If we talk about this rib cage bones, this buccal cavity, skull, the various, you know, this is the pelvic reason, this is the vertebral columns you can see, okay? So uh, we have a knee joint also. You can see this is the knee joint we have. Okay, as you can see, this is the knee joint. I hope you like it and you are enjoying ki kitne achche se maza aaga. I hope you can see guys. And basically, if we talk about the biology students, we will definitely feel good. Even the common students, guys, you know, uh, just get to know about our body system. It's become very, very important and it's become a very good way to go for things. Right? So basically the skeleton system is a combination of all the different bones which come together and form the skeletal system. Basically, we have 
206 volts. It is of various shape. As you can see here, the rib cage it has various uh, different shapes. You can see this leg. This is the femur bone, right? Which bone is it? It is the femur bone, and femur bone is the longest bone, right? If we talk about ears, so ears we have, you know, uh, the cartilages. Nose we have cartilages, right? So as you can see here, if I turn it back, so you can see here the back bones, the vertebral columns, right? You can see the shoulder joint. Okay, so you can easily understand the dislocation and all this various kind of things, right? So here we needed to know that there are so many things if we talk about. Okay, a typical bone has two layers. The outer layer is a thick and tough, while the inner layer is a spongy. So outer layer is already very strict, very tough, very hard. And if we talk about the another thing. Another thing is what the chip, another thing is the inner layer. Basically, this uh, you know, uh, it is made up of the calciums, the bones are made up of the calciums, right? So, a typical bone has two layers the outer part is thick, and the tough is the uh, okay, and the another inner layer. So, inner layer of the bones are spongy, inner layer of the bones are you know, somewhat flexible. The jelly-like part makes 4% of the total human body mass. It is continuous producing red blood cells and lymphocyte. Okay? So students, there are two things that we needed to know now. And what are these two things? The two things are the axial system and the appendicular. Next thing, right? If we talk about the axial skeleton system, Okay, if we talk about the axial skeleton system, it consists of the vertebral columns, rib cage, skull. Okay, so let me tell you what exactly the mean of the skeleton system, right? Axial skeleton system. So when we talk about the axial skeleton system, we are basically thinking upon this is skull region. So you can see this is skull region right now here. Okay, you can see properly, right? This is the skull region. These are the vertebral columns, students. See, these are the vertebral columns. If you can see it properly, you can see the tailbone, this vertebral columns, right? And this is the rib cage. So this rib cage, if we talk about the axial skeleton system, right? This rib cage, this vertebral column, if you can see the vertebral column, let me show you properly. You can see this vertebral column till the end bone, that's the tail bone. So these is come under the axial skeleton system. Got it students? So whenever we talk about the axial skeleton system, Okay, it consists of the skull region, it consists of the, you know, this rib cage, it consists of the, your backbone. Okay, so now let's move on and let's learn about the next thing, appendicular system, yeah, appendicular skeleton. Whenever we talk about the appendicular system, okay, so appendicular skeleton, basically if I say, it is appendicular skeleton. Appendicular skeleton consists of upper and lower limb, pectoral, pelvic riddles. The functions are to make movement of the limbs, possible adding and protecting internal organs too. It is total 126 upper limbs and lower limbs. So whenever Bache see here, what I am trying to say is that if we talk about the next system that is the appendicular system okay so appendicular system basically means for the upper limbs it means we are talking about this right next thing is the lower limbs so upper limbs this is the femur bone okay leg bones this is the uh, you know foot that is the flanges right so upper limbs and lower limbs have come under the what it comes under the appendicular skeleton and when I am talking about axial skeleton system, so axial skeleton system is basically about the skull, basically about this rib cage and the whole vertebral columns. It means the spinal cord of an individual. 
right? So, students, uh, what I would like to speak here or what I would like to explain you in the best is that our body has two things when we talk about axial or uh, when we talk about the skeleton system. First is the axial skeleton and second is the appendicular skeleton. Whenever I talk about the axial skeleton, axial skeleton means it is consist of vertebral columns. Remember my point, right? Vertebral columns, rib cage, skull. It is responsible for the maintenance upright posture. It means right, uh, carrying the weight from the head uh, to the hip joints. There are total eighty bones in the axial skeleton. How many bones are there in the axial? skeleton a c 80 bones are there right so out of eight skull has 28 bones how many bones do our skull has our skull has 28 bones vertical vertebral column has 26 okay so we have 26 vertebral columns you should keep in your mind hyoid bones is one sternum is one and ribs are 24 so how many ribs do we have we have 24 ribs you can see this ribs, chest reason, ribs dekh paate hain, right? So when we talk about this ribs, so bache axial system mein humko jo cheeze samajhni hain, that is too easy. This is the skull reason, right? In this skull reason, we have 24 bones. How many bones? Sorry, 24 bones, 28. Here in this skull reason, we have 28 bones. Okay? If we talk about the vertebral columns, it means this. If we talk about this vertebral column, right? So vertebral column is going to be backbone. This vertebral column, this backbone, we have 26 vertebral columns. We have one sternum and we have one thyroid point and 28 ribs. How many ribs we have? We have, uh, no 24, we count to 24. We have 24 ribs. This rib cage, we have lungs in this region, right? So lungs and heart, so rib cage protect all the internal organs also. If we talk about the appendicular, right? So appendicular skeleton is basically a skeleton consists of the upper limbs and lower limbs. So if we talk about the upper limbs, that is the hands, okay? You can see Mr. Boni is showing his hand to you, the hand bones, right? If we talk about the lower limbs, it means the lagula, the femur bone and all that I am going to show you, right? Next thing is that this is the pelvic region, this is the tailbone you can see. So these all things are come under the appendicular skeleton. Out of, uh, if we talk about the appendicular system, so we have total 126 bones in the upper limb and in the lower limb. Total we have 126. If we talk about the upper limb, in upper limb we have 64 bones and in lower limb we have 62 bones. Right now, students, see if I am telling you about this. This is cranium. What is it? This is cranium. If I remove it, it is cranium. What is it? It is cranium. Okay. Next, let's come and let's understand facial bones. Okay? So these bones that you can see here, Mr. Boni, please come here. This is the facial bones. What is this? This is the facial bones. Okay. I hope you got it. This. Hyoid, right? H Y O I D, hyoid. So if I talk about this bone, right? This is the hyoid bone here. This is the hyoid bone, bone, right? The uh, cartilaginous, right? If you talk about the collar bone, which is the collar bone. So whenever I am talking about the collar bone, collar bone, I will tell. I will just uh, let me just adjust it. I am going to show you the collar bone too. Okay, just give me a minute. Okay, then now I'm, we are going to see the collarbone. Okay, so just give me a minute, I will show you exactly what is the collarbone. Okay, I hope you love to see this thing properly. These are the collarbones. These are the collarbones. See bones in the We call see bones in These bones are the collarbone. So these bones are collarbone. Right? If we talk about the next thing, okay, the scapula. Okay, so this is the scapula. This is shoulder joint. This is the shoulder joint, scapula, right? Yeah, halka to toot gaya hai ye, but uh, yeah, it's fine. No, it is not broken up. Yeah, the scapula, right? The sternum, if we talk about, okay? So this bone, ye jo bone hai bache. See, this bone is the sternum. 
this bone, right? If we let me show you with my stick. This is the sternum. This bone is it? This is sternum bone. What is students? Let's move forward. And as you all know, these are the ribs, which is a rib cage. These are what? These are ribs. Okay. In ribs, we have lungs, we have heart, so it protects. So basically, this bone helps to protect our body. Okay. Next thing, if we talk about, is the vertebral columns. Where are these vertebral columns? These are the vertebral columns, right? If I'm going to just tilt it back, okay? Just give me a second. I'm just going to show you. These are the vertebral columns. Start it from here and go till this. You see, these are what? These are vertebral columns, students. What are they? These are vertebral columns. Till the tailbone, right? So let's uh, keep it properly. I'm just locating it properly so that it will be fine for you to understand it properly. Okay, so understood vertebral column. Okay, now if we talk about humus, right? Humerus. So which bone is the humerus bone? This is the humerus bone, right? This this joint is the humerus bone, right? This is the humerus bone. He's only so showing his hand to you. Humerus bone, right? Now ulna. If you talk about ulna, so this is ulna. This is the ulna joint. Which bone? Ulna, right? Now if you talk about radius, so this one. The next to it, this, this one is the radius one. Okay, so if this is the radius one, right? Now, see, bache, the thing that we need to now know is this is the carpal. Which is the carpal? This is the carpal, right? This, the joint it is here, no? Is this one's a carpal? Next thing that we need to know is metacarpal. So, bache, from here, can you see it properly? From here to here, this is carpuscles. That is the which kind of carpuscles? Metacarpuscles. This is metacarpuscles. Okay. From this point to this point, this is metacarpuscle. Right. Next is flanges. So this fingers, no? See, Mr. Boni is showing his hand to you, Mr. Boni. Okay. Let's see. Let me check. Uh, let me see both the hands of Mr. Flanges, uh, Mr. Boni. You can see both the hands, right? This is metacarpuscles, right? This is flanges, this fingers, this is flanges. If I am going to show my fingers, right, students, this is radius, metacarpuscles. Itna itna kya hai hamara aapne? Haan, jo hai metacarpuscles. Ye jo fingers hai hamari, right? This fingers are flanges. Fingers, which is right? This fingers are flanges. Okay? Now let us move on the next thing. Okay? The next thing that we are going to uh, learn, which is the you know pelvic griddle. Okay, so what is pelvic griddle? This, this two shaped bone, no? this one and this one. This is the pelvic griddle. Okay, this is the pelvic griddle. Right, dear students. So I hope you got it. Pelvic griddle. This point is clear. Now patella. I am going to show you the patella joint, and you know the patella joint is here. It is near the knee. In the knee. This is the patella joint. It is a knee joint, right? This joint is called patella joint and it is a knee joint. Okay? This is the femur bone. This is the femur bone. Which bone is this? This is the femur bone. You can see this is the longest bone, which is also called, which is called the femur bone, right? Next is the trivia. So this bone here. This is the trivia bone, right? Now see we have tarsals, metatarsals, and uh, you know flanges. Tarsals, metatarsals and flanges, I'll be telling you what is it. Tarsals, it means this bone. Let me show you Mr. Lagrange's bone, right? I have separated it out. I have separated it out. We can easily put it out, okay? There is an angle, we can simply put it. So, now I have to put it out. See, I have to put out the knee joint. Okay? Now, I'm going to put it out. Tarsals. What is it? We have tarsals. Then we have metatarsals. Then we have flanges. Okay, students. So basically, this is the femur bone in my hand. Okay, what is it? This is the femur bone. This is metatarsals. What is it? Metatarsals. After metatarsals, we have flanges. What is it? So simple, flanges. So I'm just gonna keep it again. The longest uh, femur bone. Okay, this is the femur bone. Okay, longest bone. And then I'm just gonna hang it. And I have prepared. So in this lockdown, I prepared this bone. This is uh, a structure for you and it is really working and I hope you got it this point but I hope we are explaining 
I hope you bought this actually that we want to explain. The concept that we would like to deliver is, right? So let us come, we are going to recapitulate what we had started today, right? Let's begin, let's do it once again so that the recapitulation, the content delivery and things would be fine. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly start and I'm just quickly gonna tell you each and everything in a proper manner, right? So let's recapitulate it, let's do it proper. So the learning process will be enhanced and we'll be get to know things properly, right? We'll get to know the things properly. I hope this angle is fine. I'm just uh, going to just, uh, fit the angle actually. Let me just, uh, I'm just trying that only. Yeah, it's fine now. All right, all right. Okay, students, so let me just tell you that what I actually want to tell you or what I would like to deliver exactly is about this skeleton system. Okay, so whenever we talk about the skeleton system, it's become so easy to know about the bony structure. So students, let's understand the things in detail again. Let's recapitulate what we have started today. So we have started our session with the fundamentals of physiology and anatomy. Okay. Where we have started? We have started with the fundamentals of anatomy and physiology. Whenever we deal about the fundamentals of anatomy and fundamentals of physiology, we need to keep some things in mind. Basically, first we need to know what is the meaning of anatomy and what is the meaning of physiology. Anatomy basically means to study the structure of living organism. To study the structure of living organism, right? And if we talk about physiology, so physiology is basically concerned on the study of living organ systems, living system and its functioning, right? So, the, what is the importance to go for the skin physiology and all, right? This uh, importance of anatomy and physiology. When we learn the skin physiology and anatomy, we get to know about our body. We have, we got a rough idea about our body. Okay, and it's become easy for a coach uh, to have a, you know, idea about, you know, this, how to, they can, uh, this, they can, it will be so easy for them to have a selection. So the selection process will be easy. Okay, it becomes so easy for, uh, you know, this uh, coach to select the players either for strength related games, endurance related games, flexibility related games. So it's become so easy for the person to go through this, right? Next thing is prevention of sports injury. If we know about our body, so we may can, uh, you know, prevent our body from the various kind of injuries. Occumentation, rehabilitation, first aid, so many things will be taken care of, right? So it is very important the training program can be scheduled accordingly and if we are in jumping and some kind of activity so we should at least got to know about various bones, how fracture happened, how to overcome the fracture, okay, which are the massage therapy and how to develop physically our body and uh, you know we just get a habit to know about the body exactly. So let's recapitulate the things, okay? So if we talk about the function of the skeletal system, why we are studying the system? The whole system has a lot of function, okay? The system not only helps to understand things, but yeah, the system has a lot of bones. The long bone, the short bone, the system gives us locomotion. These bones, just because of these bones, we are able to locomote. We are able to move from one place to another place. Is that it, students? Okay, next thing is that this system helps to support our body. It gives shape to our body. Okay, so the skeleton system definitely give us shape. The skeleton system give us, you know, uh, very uh, kind of things. Like, is this a uh, storage of calcium in our body? So osteoporosis or is not going to be hormonal balance will be there. Okay, so so many things will be here if we basically talk about things like uh, in, in, with respect to the function of the skeletal system. Locomotion, the skeletal system are closely associated with the skeletal muscles which are attached down to the tendons, ligaments. Together, you know, students, they make movement and skeleton keep our muscles to respective position. If we talk about support, so skeleton leads support to the whole body. Protection, bones like skull, pelvic, 
protect vital organs such as brain, reproductive systems, etc. If we talk about calcium storage in the body, so what happens is that it gives, you know, uh, helps to protect our body and with uh, bones, it stores much calcium and supply to the body. Acting as a liver, so our bones are liver for our body. Endocrine regulation, like this, uh, recent studies have found that, uh, you know, this uh, uh, oestrocalcin, it uh, controls the regulation of glucose and fat deposition, right? So, we will be also able to learn about the bones, that is a short bone, long bone, types of bones, so all things we will be going to learn. So, just going to recapitulate a whole thing. Let us start again with the revision of this thing. What is the revision? The revision part is the first skull. This is the skull region where the brain was. These are the facial bones. What is this? These are the facial bones, bones on the face. This is thyroid. This is thyroid here. Here it is thyroid. You can see here it is thyroid. Right? After it, we have collarbone. We have collarbone. These are the collarbones. On both the sides we have the collarbones. Then we have scapula. We have scapula. The shoulder side we have scapula. These are the ribs. This is the rib and these are total rib cage we could say. Okay, and basically there are 24 ribs. How many ribs we have? We have 24 ri uh, ribs, 12 either side. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right? So, after this we have humerus. This is the humerus region. As you can see here, this. This is the humerus region, right? After this we have ulna. So, ulna is here. You can see here, it is ulna. Right? After ulna you have radius, it means there are two bones you can see here. Okay? So one is the radius, then we have metacarpuscles, then we have carpuscles, and uh, carpuscles, metacarpuscles, and these fingers is flanges. Okay? Then we have the longest bone. Okay? Before going to the longest bone, we have a pelvic region, we have vertebral columns, we have tailbone. Okay? Then we have the longest bone, and this longest bone, if I'm going to show you, let me just remove it. Okay, the learning process should always be great. Okay, so if I'm going to show you this, uh, you know, wait a second, let's show this. This is this is the female bone. What is it? This is the female bone, students. And this after this female bone, we have this the knee joint. Okay, this knee joint has uh, again this uh, leg bone and this is the you know, tangles, metatangles, and flanges again, right? Let me just put it to the respective place and just move forward, right? So let me just going to put it here. Okay, fine. So this was about this Oh, I forgot to tell you. This is the bubble cavity, right? So we just have the tip and so many things we have. So I hope this understanding about this skeleton system is fine. I hope you got it about the skeleton system. Okay, so basically whenever we talk about the physiology, whenever we talk about the anatomy, we need to understand about various things. Okay, so students, I hope you like it, you understand what is exactly the fun of this skeleton system. Okay, so Mr. Boni is my friend and it's your friend also now. Okay, so from now Mr. Boni is your friend and you should, it's become very easy when you go for the things, when you understand things by heart. Okay. Skull, facial muscles, rib cage, vertebral column, tailbone, pelvic region, flanges, femur bone, patella that is the knee joint. Okay, after patella we have uh, this car, tarsals, metatarsals, etc. Okay, the buffalo cavity and so many things we have. We have 24 rings. So, as I told you that we have axial skeleton system and pentagonal axial uh, skeleton system. Axial consists of skull, ribcage, and you know this vertebral columns. And if you talk about the appendicular systems, it consists of the upper limbs and the lower limbs. So this is what all about the skeleton systems. I hope you like it, and I hope you understand the all concept about it. Okay, students. So with this, take care. Bye. -bye. Lots of love and blessings for everyone. Right? Go through all these things properly. Just recapitulate it once. We'll meet soon. Thank you so much, everyone.